Hello and welcome to this new video on my channel of two office. In Excel, it is very simple to concatenate the contents of two cells with the help of concatenate function or simply with an ampersand sign. Let's see how. So we have two words here in two different cells. Hello world. So if we want to concatenate it, we can simply use old concatenate function. The text one. In case we want to insert a space, we can insert a space as well and world and press enter. This is totally fine, but there are times when we need to concatenate not just two cells, rather a range of cells and obviously we cannot keep on writing the cell reference one by one. So let's say in place of hello world, we have hello world. This is Of to office. So it's at this point where text join function is useful. This function is available with Excel 2019 and the above versions. The beauty of the function lies in the fact that it does not just concatenate a range of cells but also inserts a delimiter between them. So let's have a look at its syntax. So you can see text join function takes three arguments delimiter, ignore empty and the text one arguments delimiter can be set to anything we want to add between the concatenated cell and the next argument provides us the option if we really want to ignore the empty cells or include them and the last one is the most important one it's the range we want to concatenate in fact we can add more ranges or just a single cell reference after the third argument so let's see what we can achieve through text join function. So my delimiter will be here a space and I want to ignore empty cells falling in the range selected by us. So I'm selecting true here and in place of text one and text two, I can feed a range instead. So you can see all these cells have been concatenated. Now, needless to mention, the function being a text function, this will render the output as a text. So, even if we concatenate a range of numbers, the result is a string. So, what I'm trying to say, say you have a range of numbers 1 to 10. If you want to apply text join function here, delimiter you want to set it to maybe a comma or maybe nothing I just want to concatenate these numbers so I'm feeding an empty string here and I want to ignore empty cell yes and my range will be this C these 10 numbers have been concatenated but are these numbers really a number or text you can check this with is number function so I'm checking this with is number function so if it is a number it will return me a true it is returning me false now I'm trying to check whether the concatenate string is a number or a text I will be using is text function and you can see this is returning me a true which means this concatenated string is a text Obvious enough, the text join function is a text function, so it will return me a text. So what workaround we have to tackle this situation? You can do one thing. You can simply multiply this concatenated string with 1. So I'm just multiplying it with 1. And you can see when I tested it with is number function, this is now returning me a true, establishing that this is actually a number. Now have a look at this concatenation of dates. So you have got say 1st April 21, 3rd August 21, 15 December 21. And I want to concatenate these dates. Okay, fine. Let's concatenate with text join function. Say you want to insert a comma as your delimiter. 
ignore the empty cells oh my god what has happened here we wanted to add dates exactly in the format as they were in but we rather got numbers so this is a problem we face when we try to concatenate dates when we do so excel converts the corresponding dates to the serial number in fact computer uses these serial numbers for computations of all date related data so what's the way out the answer is we will use text function to convert these dates to the text see how so what i will be doing i will use text join function delimiter as always will be a comma true and in place of date i will use a text function and this will be my range and the format will be the one that i actually want my date to be in so this is the format this is date dd dash mmm dash yy so doing so you can see so you can see using the text function bails you out of the situation now all these things that i have discussed so far is possible only if we are using excel 2019 or the above versions of excel but can we really achieve this in the older versions as well the answer is yes there's a work around let's see how so again we are having data say from january to december and we want to concatenate it with a delimiter maybe comma here so how to do it so what i will do i will concatenate this a2 use an ampersand sign and now see i will be using we lookup function here to pick the data and cells one by one and see the magic so to counter any error value i will wrap this we look a function inside if error function and now i will insert a delimiter say it's a comma and start fetching the data with we look up so my look up will be the data next to january which is february right and table array will be from this a3 position to b3 and i will extend it to say b69 and then my column index will be 2 and my match will be exact match and if it is an error return me an empty string press enter we did not get the concatenation of the entire data range but the moment you drag it down to the next cell you see this has fetched me a february and this february has been concatenated with this cell further drag it down and i will drag it to some longer range obviously i have used the index function here to fetch the first one which is actually the concatenation of these data range so in case i add anything to this column like monday tuesday so you saw with this work around you can concatenate a range of cells without the text join function also so that's it in this video hope you liked it If so don't forget to subscribe share and do press bell icon so that you receive notification of all new videos thanks for watching